Angel here. Today I wanted to talk about the ways to practice. Yes, I'm going to talk about practice. You're talking about practice? Yes. Unfortunately, I am going to talk about practicing. And I want to talk about the three different ways you should practice whenever you're practicing anything. Nothing plugged in. Second would be with a very clean sound. And the third way would be with some overdrive. And I'll explain why. Acoustically, without... Even if it's an electric guitar. Like I can hear what that would sound with distortion or um, with a clean sound. So that's one way. One way is just completely unplugged. When you're practicing, you really don't want people to hear your mistakes, right? So this is a good way to practice. You're not bothering anybody because it's unplugged. <laughs> okay, so the next way, clean acoustic sound. I'm always thinking musical, even if I'm practicing like a scale pattern, let's say. At this level, you're listening, you're really listening, and you want to hear if there's any uh, open string sounding, any, and whatever you hear. That shouldn't be heard. Let's see. See, I'm so used to muting with this hand. And that's what's happening is with my right hand, I'm palm muting. All the notes that I don't want the sound. And with my left hand, I have my finger on the seven, first finger on the seventh fret. And the string above it, the second string, is being touched very lightly with my index finger. And my index finger does a lot. Sometimes other fingers, but my index finger does a lot in the muting part. You want to focus on how clean you are on this level. Distortion, gain. You don't want to use too much gain. If you use too much gain, you start to become too muddy. You want to make sure that... 